Hey guys, this is Adam at Instaproofs. Today I'm gonna to do a quick run through of how to get your account set up and ready to upload your first event. We're not gonna go through everything there is in Instaproofs. We're just gonna run through the basics and get you ready for that first event. So we're gonna start in the Setup tab and head into the Event Types page. Within the Event Types page, it lists all the different types of events that you might shoot. If you don't shoot these particular types of events, you can delete them or add new ones as needed. After you've got your event type set up, we'll head into the Print Sizes and Sets page. And from here, it lists all the different print sizes that we want to offer to your clients through your storefront. Again, if you don't want to offer these sizes, you can click delete and it'll delete them. Or you can click the create new button to create a new size. Once you've got that created, you can move it just by clicking and dragging it to where you want it in the list. And down below, we have print sets. A print set is anything such as a group of wallets or a digital image or anything of that sort that's not just a standard print size. We'll go ahead and create a new one and we'll call it eight wallets. And we're just gonna say eight wallet sized prints. We're just gonna save it. Okay, now that our print set has been created and our event sizes are here, we'll go check out our prices. In the prices, we're gonna create a pricing template by clicking the Create New button. I'm gonna just name this Standard Prices. And you can give a price for each of the different print sizes that you offer. Now if you want to offer original sepia and black and white versions of the same image, you can just copy over your prices to each of the different options, hit save, and that'll save your prices for any of the images that you're going to upload. Down below that area is the shipping area, and when you first create your account, it's going to be set to the Prince Ordered Shipping method. Now this is a method that not a lot of people use, so let's go ahead and switch our calculation methods, and we'll switch it over to a print total, and we'll combine the shipping for prints and products click update and here we're going to set up our shipping prices using the order total shipping method. So we're going to click create new and we're going to say any order under $100 is going to have $10 shipping for standard shipping, $15 shipping for rush, and then $25 shipping for international. And we'll set up another one, say anything under $250, which means between $100 and $250. We're going to give it $15, $25, $35, and then we're just going to set one up that catches everything above that. So we're going to set this at 10,000, 20, 35, and 45. Now we've got our shipping set up. Let's head into the uh, taxes page. In the taxes page, this is where you're going to set up um, the sales tax that you're going to charge to your customers. I'm going to click Create New, and I'm going to select the state that I live in. First, we're going to pick United States. And let's pick California as an example. You get a choice of all areas, city name, postal code, or county. I'm going to pick all areas, but you can select a specific city or a specific postal code. And depending on what you choose here, we'll decide what your clients pay when they check out. I'm going to say for all areas of California, they're going to have 8.5% sales tax, and we're going to tax their shipping. Once that's saved, you'll see the page refreshes and it shows up here. Now what this means is any orders that come into California will be charged 8.5% for their sales tax rate. Any order shipping outside of California aren't going to be charged sales tax with the way that this is set up. If you need to charge sales tax for more than one state, you can do this as many times as you want. And you can create the different states or different rates for different cities or anything that you need to do. After your sales tax has been set up, let's just verify the company information. Make sure your name's there, your company name is there, and any other information that you need is set up and correct on that page. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to head into the Customize page, and we're going to upload a logo for our, our account. So click the Choose Logo file, find your logo image, and just click the Submit Custom Files button at the bottom, and that'll upload your logo to be displayed on your storefront. After you've uploaded your logo, we're going to go ahead into the events tab, into the event list page, and we're going to create our first event. I'm just going to call this one the LS family event. I'm going to give it a family event type, give it a date of today's date or whatever date the event was on, give it the event city and state. If the event requires a password, go ahead and click require password and give it a password. You can also set the number of days to display the event. I'm going to just say that this event is going to be online for 60 days. And I'm going to activate it 
as soon as the images are uploaded to it. Clicking the Create Event button will take you to this page here where it's going to ask you to create new categories for your event or just to upload your photos. I'm just going to say Add Photos. And now you're prompted to drag and drop your images here, or you can select your images. I'm going to select some images. It adds them to the list here. And then it says, what pricing template do you want to use? Since we've only got one set up, we'll select that one. It asks what category to put these images into within the event. And we don't have any categories set up, so we're going to create a new category. I'm just going to call it Family Photos. That creates the category for us. And then I'm going to click Upload Images. As the images are uploaded, you'll see the progress moving across the top and across the bottom. And I'm going to fast forward us a bit to the end. OK, now once these images are finished uploading, we're going to get a little message that tells us that they're finished. And here it is, Upload Complete. We can either upload more or view the uploaded images. I'm going to click View Uploaded Images. And that takes me into the category list for the event. You can see that the family photos category was created. 24 images were uploaded into it. And now I can either add more, manage those images, or I can view the event if I want to. But I'm going to click Manage. This gives me a list of all the images that were uploaded. And you can see some of them have an edit link and some of them have this processing message. The processing message is shown because once the images are uploaded, they're added to our processing queue. And sometimes it takes anywhere between 1 minute and 20 minutes to get the images fully processed into the system, depending on how many other images are in the processing queue when you upload those images. I'm going to hit refresh and see if our images are finished processing. And it looks like they are. So to view the event, we click View Event. Type in the password. And the images are displayed on your storefront. And this is how your client would see them. If you click on an image, click Buy This Image, and you'll see all the different options that we created before. You can add it to your cart, and then view the cart, and it'll show you what's been added to that cart. On your storefront, there'll be a checkout button right here, but because this is the demo site, there is no checkout button. And that's all there is to it, to getting your account set up and ready for your first event and uploading your first set of images.